Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and also don't forget to follow me on social media to see some of my posts and stay up to date on some of the things I'm doing. I went on Instagram and I asked what kind of videos you guys would like to see, and I got a really good response back, so I have a whole bunch of videos now planned out for what I want to do, and I'm going to start off with my makeup collection. I want to break it down though because if I did like my entire makeup collection it'd be a little long mainly just with the eyeshadow palettes alone would be long so I figured I'd start out with my highlighters because I'm currently missing a palette because I ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette and it's not here yet Wednesday Wednesday <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna show you all the highlighters I own minus my Carly Bible palette and my Lorac palette because I didn't want to include them because I'm mainly just doing like highlighters. Um, I'm going to include the those palettes in with the eyeshadows just because I thought it made more sense to do so. Or maybe it doesn't make sense. I'm not sure now. Anyways, um, so let's get into my highlighters. So I'm going to start off with my favorite one and that is the NYX Duochrome. I mentioned it in my favorites. It is still a favorite of mine. It is affordable and it is so pretty. I love this highlighter more than all my other highlighters. Like seriously, it's the one I choose the most. And you get a good amount of product for the price you pay and you get a really pretty color payoff. I also own the NYX Awaby Glows. I actually purchased these first because, fun fact, those were sold out when I went to Ulta and I was like okay do you have them in the back and she's like I'll go check for you and they didn't have them so I ended up purchasing these instead and I wasn't disappointed with them they're still pretty good I just prefer powder for highlighter versus liquid but I do however use these um in a different way I use this one under my foundation or under my highlight to just give it that little bit of extra <laughs> but yeah, I use this underneath foundation to give me more of like a glowy, like dewy, I think it would be. Like yeah, a glowy dewy finish because matte foundations can look really dry on me because I have extremely dry skin, like especially in here and in here. So, I mean, I try to stay away from matte products. But when I have no choice, I use this to just give me that little extra niceness. I use this underneath really pretty shimmery shadows especially when I know I'm gonna have a pink one I tend to use this one but it's this one is state of flux if you're wondering this is number two and then this is liquid prism just in case you were wanting um, what color shades they were and to go buy them they are in liquid prism and state of flux or flux not sure not 100% sure on that but anyways, <laughs> on to my one and only contouring palette. I have the Wet n Wild contour palette. I have Dulce de Leche. It's like the lightest shade I think they have in me. I probably could go lighter. I have completely hit pen on this one. I don't use it as a highlighter so much as um, like a setter for my concealer and stuff. I do once in a blue moon use this, but um, I will sometimes use this. And if I find that I put on too much of the duo duochrome one, I will go in with this one to kind of dye it down. But yeah, I love this palette, and I think I paid like three dollars at the Dollar General for it, so it's a win. It does look good if you don't want like any sparkle whatsoever for a highlight. It will work for that. The contour portion is pretty good, but I'm really pale, so I don't like the way it looks on me, but hey, it wasn't that expensive, so I'm not mad. Uh, next thing I got is a brand new highlight palette. I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. is so pretty. Let me take out the packaging for you. Just so you can see the inside. You get six really pretty colors. I never used the blue one. But that one came off a little bit more like glitter versus a highlight. But still not bad because I don't mind glitter. One thing I will mention about the Anastasia ones that I have. At least on me, I noticed that by the end of the day, 
if it didn't start off glittery and like a unicorn threw up on you by the end of the day it will look like a unicorn threw glitter up all over your face um i have used a setting spray so i know it's not that it's just it tends to separate and get just like a glitter bomb all over your face I don't mind it too much because by that point I already have my makeup off anyways but if you are gonna be out for like 10 plus hours don't do it unless you want to look like you have glitter all over your face then then go ahead it really depends on what you want <laughs> and then the last highlighter I have is the Nicole Guerrero kit when this came out I just had to have it I literally bought the last one that my Sephora had at the time and I didn't realize that they'd be restocking it because at the time it was like buy it or you don't have it so I bought it and I was completely happy with it but like I said it will separate and get really glittery all over your face but I don't mind because I do like this one I actually prefer this one over the newer one I got I can't really use the forever young 143 or glow getter because my skin is so pale it looks a little funny on me at least I feel it's weird so I use them as eyeshadows instead so if you find that a highlighter is a little too dark you can always substitute it as a different product so I found that highlighters work really well as eyeshadows when you just want to throw something on and go um, but yeah those are all my highlighters and I can't wait to go I think the next time I film my palette should be here but if not I'll just film my foundations and like my face products and my concealers and stuff like that so thank you for watching and I hope you continue to keep watching have a good day